Radiant Defense gets dropped. That's the theme of the today's episode. Uh, and as you can see, the rifle stays in one uh, piece. We have gathered a few more bumps and scratches, which is perfectly fine since their theme for the whole series is Apocalypse. So I think it blends very, very well. Uh, so yes, we did went through the series of drops on the hard Ozark rocks. And uh, I always uh, kind of cringe inside when I'm dropping the rifle. Uh, but Meridian Defense rifle took it like a champ. Uh, as I said, minor dents and scratches to the stock mainly, uh, but uh, nothing uh, major. One thing which drives me nuts, I failed to, to put any damage to that pistol grip. That pistol grip uh, from Tango Down, uh, I will take care of it during the scent tornado test. I promise to you guys, it's going to look freaking used because everything here ages perfectly and this grip looks like a, like it's right from our store or something uh, anyhow speaking about the rust uh, that was predictable we got the rust on the rear leaf that's from the swamp and uh, over the dust cover in few spots when you got uh, that type of the finish uh, that aged finish that is basically bound to happen if you don't take care of the rifle and I don't during the test uh, that's that's what's happening but as you can see uh, I think the swamp put that seasoning to the finish it looks even freaking better I think I should patent it the formula whatever is in the swamp it ages the rifles uh, beautifully <laughs> so but Good thing is, uh, the after the drops and everything you've seen at the footage already, 30 rounds fully expanded without any hiccups. That doesn't mean we didn't have malfunctions. We actually had two malfunctions. Uh, it was the failure to feed. So that magazine took some beating uh, in uh, previous episodes from uh, the, the Z-Pop. So I may have to probably uh, rebuild it completely and move away from it but the one word malfunction happened on the wolf ammo guys this is the first time when uh and this is my favorite ammo i mean not not favorite the brown bear is favorite but this is one of the most favorites ammos actually bernal bernal is my my favorite uh, which is making the ammo for wolf and for the brown bear but i keep skidding away point is the primer on the round uh, folded in. And you see the pictures from, uh, because I put it to the ground first and then I dig out uh, when, you know, I waited some time and things like this. But uh, as you can see that the primer just folded in and I don't know how is that even possible. Uh, that's the first time when I got the issue like this on the Wolf. Uh, and other than this, rifle run perfectly, flawless. Uh, it is fun to shoot. Uh, it is, a Ninja CQB's basically wet dream. You can drive that rifle uh, from target to target. You can do all the crazy the drills you want to. Uh, it drives perfectly fine. It is. It handles awesome. This is something. With, it's absolutely great with that 3x combo, uh, annihilator combo, guys. This is an absolutely fun machine to operate, to shoot, and to use it. Uh, it handles, as I said, it's balanced very, very well. Uh, this is something uh, what what the Meridian Defense accomplished nicely. Uh, of course, that integrated gas block with the front post works fine too. I don't see any movement on it. Pins are staying in, so they did a great job here. And uh, the muzzle brake, which will twist, spin your head around uh, if you're standing on the side from it, but it does job uh, when, when you uh, shooting on target and things like this uh, for the quick follow-up shots it's a trade-off and uh, because this is not the regulated gas block i do not have a kns piston on it or anything like this uh, either so this this break just does the job of uh, you know really really well uh, but you have to take it as it is because that's the part of the package so i wish that the meridian defense would offer some options for the customers when you're ordering those rifles that's a suggestion uh, so you guys can put the different types of the muzzle devices if you're running suppressors and things like this so that's my uh, suggestion to the meridian defense but 
As always, enough with the bullshit talk. Let me take off the annihilator combo and we'll go from there. Wiglet safely, put it on the side, pop the dust cover. Recoil spring, let me lower the safety, put the trigger down, pull out the bolt carrier group. We'll start as always with the recoil spring and there's absolutely nothing on the good old recoil spring. Interestingly enough, it's not even rusting. Uh, this is usually uh, when you have a case and uh, you're in that uh, you know humid environment, you will see some rust here, but that one is not rusting, so that's cool. Let me pull out the bolt. We'll start from the bolt today. And uh, for you, I'll wipe it off for the pictures, so you're going to have a really cool pictures. But with my naked eye, I don't see anything wrong with uh, the locking locks on the bolt. The rear of the bolt is looking good, and the extractor claw is fine, as well as the firing pin. Looks good. Whoops, I dropped. Looks good. If you spot something, let me know. We'll always address the issue. I'll leave the bolt, bolt to the side. Okay, how are we looking on the uh, bolt carrier? So as you can see, there was that initial deformation from the trigger hammer, and this is the ALG trigger, uh, and it is splashed, but it is not moving forward. It, it, at least I don't think uh, it's not advancing. So we'll keep an eye on it, we'll monitor it, but I think they did the good job polishing that uh, polish, polishing the shit out of that trigger uh, which resulted in the gentle transformation and movement when that bolt carrier moves and cycles. So this is all looking good, uh, channel good, and the piston head is perfectly fine, nothing. Nice, quick look into the chamber, chamber is looking good. Now how are we looking on the locking shoulders on the trunnion? Everything here, it's dirty, uh, but it's looking good. It's looking good, honestly. Let me flip it. Everything good at the bottom. Quick look at the rivets. Uh, we had a few problems with uh, rivets on a few other rifles. That's uh, not like a problems, but not not really nicely made. So that's why I'm, nope, these are all looking good. And the rear trunnion is looking fine. Um, unfortunately, because of the Ultimac up front, I cannot do the Pirate and I cannot check the gas tube or the gas black. Uh, probably in the last episode, uh, maybe we'll take it off apart and see what's happening there. Uh, but for now, this has to do it. Uh, don't go anywhere. As always, we have to finish it with uh, the head spacing test and we'll see what's going to happen. Apocalypse Now Express is set up. Let's drive that uh, gauge home. And no closing. There is a no-go on a no-go. <laughs> okay, nope. No closing. One more time for non-believers. And nothing. Guys, everything here is looking great. And that means only one thing. Meridian Defense Apocalypse AK was cleared for another thousand rounds run. Stay tuned, thanks for being with us, thanks for watching and thanks for supporting AK Operators Union. That being said, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because uh, YouTube is doing outstanding job not informing you guys uh, that we posted the new videos. When you will subscribe, hit that little bell for the notifications. Without it, you won't ever, you won't ever hear from us that we posted the new video. As I said, the YouTube is not really a gun channel friendly. That being said, this is it. See you in the next episode.